branches everywhere. Hello, mommy. It's okay. I'll just stop here. Give him plenty of space since little one wants to suckle. Oh, how sweet is this? What a lovely way to start off our morning. I love the way they tuck their trunks up like that when they feed. The little one. And I also love the sort of patient, tolerant look the mothers get when they feed their calves like this. And just stop dead still and stand and wait. It's been really nice to see elephant herds again. I felt as though we went through a period where they were quite absent. Hello, Mum. Okay, Mum. All right, Mum. I'm just sitting. Just sitting. Hello, big girl. Hey, big girl. It's all right. It's okay. Hello, big girl. That was a half just letting us know not to come any closer and also half gravity. So the way that she walked down that hill caused that head bob and the slight increase in speed. And it can be a little bit deceptive when you're sitting with elephants because if you're not quite sure, you could actually interpret that as, whoops, time to go. And I think that was just, she just really wanted that patch of grass, Brian. Mm. Hey, big girl. Good morning. We're just sitting. She's got quite short tusks. <laughs> oh. I wonder what ever happened to Benjamin Button. Benjamin was the a baby elephant with the wrinkliest forehead we've ever seen in our entire lives. Much wrinklier than this little one. Yes, your forehead's lovely. Benjamin was such a little char is such a little character. I'm sure he's around somewhere. I just haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> that was utterly hilarious. <laughs> Throwing grass over its shoulder. <laughs> And the little one at the back doing the same thing. Oh, goodness, sorry. Hold on a moment. Let me just turn that down. Uh, White Lady Eowyn, you want to know how long elephant cows are fertile? It's a very good question. I think I've I actually researched this once, and I think they stay fertile throughout their lives, but obviously the chances of a successful pregnancy... Hello, girl. Okay. All right. Hey, big girl. You're in a funny mood this morning. Hey. What's up? Sorry, White Lady Owen. As far as I know, they don't actually go through menopause like human beings go through menopause. The same as with the big cats. But obviously their chances of producing viable eggs are relatively slim as they get older. So when an elephant starts to hit sort of 50 or so, they're on their final set of teeth which means their bodies aren't getting the same nutrients because their teeth have worn down, they can't chew in the same way. And so the chances of them falling pregnant become smaller and smaller. I really want to cough, but I think with her funny mood, I'd better hold it. <laughs> <laughs> 